How to speak Russian. Learning how to speak Russian is no small feat, but if you put in the time and effort you will be richly rewarded. Russian is a beautiful and complex language with over 150 million native speakers. Here are some helpful ideas to aid you on the path to fluency. Mastering the basics. Learn the Russian alphabet. The alphabet is a good place to start when you're learning to speak Russian. Russian is a phonetic language, which means that more or less every Russian letter corresponds to a single sound. Once you've learned to pronounce every letter of the alphabet correctly, learn what other sounds the letters can make. For example, O can be a sometimes in Russian. The Russian alphabet is derived from the Cyrillic alphabet and consists of 33 letters, including 11 vowels, 20 consonants and 2 letters which make no sound, but make a word sound harder or softer. When learning, it might help to group the letters by look and sound, compared with their English counterparts. 1. First group, written and pronounced the same. Six Russian letters are the same as English in both pronunciation and form, namely A, E, K, M, O, and T. 1. Second group, look different but sound the same. Sixteen Russian letters have the same pronunciation as English ones but are symbolized by a completely different letter. These include B, G, D, E, Z, P, F, I, J, L, C, S, S, A, U, and A. 1. Third group, look familiar but are pronounced differently. Eight Russian letters look very similar to some English letters and numbers but they are pronounced very differently, these are V, Z, N, R, S, U, C, H, 1. Fourth group, new letter and unfamiliar sound. There are some Russian letters which do not exist in English at all and either represent unfamiliar sounds or have no sound value, for example, Y, 1. Learn to count. Knowing how to count is an essential skill in any language. Learning Russian numbers can be tricky, as each number has six different forms, depending on how it's used. However, the nominative case is the most widely used and therefore the best place to start. 1 equals Odin, pronounced a -d -y -e -n -d -n, 2 equals Deva, pronounced DVA, DVA 3 equals Tri, pronounced tri, TRI 4 equals C tire, pronounced Chi TIH RI, T, TUR E 5 equals PAT, pronounced PIAT, P -at, 6 equals SEST, pronounced SHISHIST, ST 7 equals SEM, pronounced SYEM, SM 8 equals VOSEM, pronounced VOH SIEM, VOS M 9 equals DVAT, pronounced DYEHVI at DFT 10 equals DSAT, pronounced DASYIT, DST Memorize simple vocabulary. The wider the vocabulary you have at your disposal, the easier it is to speak a language fluently. Familiarize yourself with as many simple, everyday Russian words as possible, you'll be surprised at how quickly they build up. Attach little Russian labels to items around your house, such as the mirror, the coffee table, and the sugar bowl. This way, you'll remember the words better by associating them with the object they describe rather how they translate into English. It is important to learn a word or phrase from Russian to English as well as English to Russian, that way you will remember how to say it, not just recognize it when you hear it. For Learn some basic conversational phrases. By learning the basics of polite conversation, you'll very quickly be able to interact with Russian speakers on a simple level. Try learning the words, phrases for Hello equals Stravstivyujta, pronounced ZDRAST voy tai, Zdrastivijate e, Hello, less formal, equals Stravstivyuj, pronounced ZDRAST voy tai, Zdrastivijay, hi equals privet, pronounced pre VYET, PRV et, yes equals da, pronounced da, da, no equals net, pronounced nyet, net, thank you equals spasibo, pronounced SPUHC ba, SPSIB, please equals pazalusta, pronounced pa ZHAH lustu, P alst, my name is, equals mina zovit, pronounced menya zavut, MNAZVUT, what is your name? Equals kak vas zovit? Pronounced kak vas zavut kak vas zvut Pleased to meet you equals asin priyatno Pronounced ok n priyatno ot n pr jotan ok equals haroso Pronounced harasho xro Goodbye equals dus vidanya Pronounced das vidane ye ds vidanje 4. Keep in mind that when o is in an unstressed syllable, it is pronounced which is a sound between o and a, but closer to a. Study the basic grammar. In order to speak any language correctly, it is necessary to study the grammar particular to that language. Russian grammar can appear quite daunting to an English speaker at first, due to unfamiliar grammatical concepts such as gender and the case system. Don't let it put you off though, once you get the hang of the grammar you'll find that Russian is a very direct and expressive language. The case system. There are six main cases in the Russian case system, the nominative, the accusative, the dative, the genitive, the instrumental, and the prepositional. To put it simply, a case is a set of endings that words take to indicate their function and relationship to other words in a sentence. 5. Gender. Like many other languages, every noun in the Russian language is assigned a gender. Russian nouns are divided into three separate genders, masculine, feminine, and neuter neutral. It's usually easy to tell the gender of a noun, as for people it's the same as the person's gender, for example, in Russian the word for father is masculine and the word for mother is feminine. However, with many other nouns gender is assigned arbitrarily, for example, the Russian word for home is masculine, while the Russian word for door is feminine. 
Fortunately for Russian language learners, most of the time you can tell the gender of a word by the letter or suffix it ends in. For verbs. One nice thing about Russian is that verbs have only three tenses, past, present, and future. Russian also has two aspects that are only used in the past and future tense, imperfective and perfective. Aspects determine whether an action is ongoing imperfective or has been completed perfective. For Russian verbs change their endings depending on the subject. Sometimes this happens in English, but not as much. Example, I work, he works. There are two patterns of conjugation or word endings which are known as the first conjugation and the second conjugation. There are also a number of irregular verbs that simply need to be learned. For. Don't be discouraged. If you're serious about learning to speak Russian, keep at it. The satisfaction you'll get from reaching milestones in a second language and eventually mastering it will far outweigh the difficulties you encounter along the way. Learning a new language takes time and practice. It won't happen overnight. If you still need some extra motivation, here are some things that make Russian easier to learn than other languages. Russian has only three tenses, much fewer than English. For example, in the past tense, they do not bother making a distinction between I was running, I have been running, or I have been running. Russian does not use articles a and the. Russian uses a much simpler sentence structure than English. In fact, it's usually possible to say exactly what you want in just a few succinct words. For example, in polite English you would need to use a long sentence like Can you please pass me the salt? However in Russian it's just as polite to say something simple like Give salt please, for. 